In this project, we are going to create Facebook login and sign up page. Just like this. This looks similar to Facebook. We have Facebook logo here. Facebook text. We have a form. Users can enter their phone number or email. We have password. Button they can click to log in. Forgotten password. And then create new account let's go ahead and see how we can create this exact page to get started open one of your favorite code editors in my case i'm using visual studio code on top click on new folder and type facebook we're going to create two files inside that folder the first one will be sign up dot html the second one is css so we'll put style css we're going to create another folder subfolder inside this folder which is facebook so i'll click on folder and then i'll put images inside images we're going to put the logo for facebook you can go to google and search for facebook logo i went ahead and downloaded logo for facebook and then i've added it here so technically we have a big folder called facebook and inside it we have another subfolder which contains logo of Facebook. We have signup.html and we have style.css. Let's start creating our project. So enter Emmet, hit enter, and then our code will be written for us. Okay, this is a template. And then I'll put Facebook. sign up and log in and then we link to our what? css like this and then we type style dot css here now let me take you to all right so we're going to create three divs one is going to be a wrapper let me explain that so with this project we have three divs one is a wrapper that wraps everything like this we also have another wrapper containing what the logo and the text and finally, we have the third wrapper containing the form, right? So we're going to write code for what? Trade divs. Let's go back there. And then we'll go to body. And then I'll type div and then put the main wrapper. So main wrapper like this. Hit enter open it so this is going to be the biggest container the overall container containing everything on the web page and then we have another div and this div is going to be the inner inner left okay inner left now now let me explain to you all right so we have inner right and inner left this is inner left and this is inner right okay so we have inner left and then we have inner right like this perfect now let's expand 
inner left and expand inner right now inside inner left we are going to link to our what our logo okay because inner left we have logo and then we have text let's add our image the logo okay so i'll put image img and then we specify the path to the image so we have a folder called images okay so images forward slash and then we have facebook image and the all tag on a productive website remember to include it so this is what logo for what for facebook this way come down and then we put p tag that's paragraph and then we enter the text for what facebook i'll paste it inside my p tag like this okay good next let's go ahead and work on inner right so inner right has a form okay it has a form which is this one okay so we'll build this form so to build your form you enter the tag form like this and then you open it up like this and the first thing we're going to put inside the form is an input field for email followed by password okay so we put input type so let's put input input like this and then the type we're going to put email there because the first one takes email and then placeholder the placeholder is let's go ahead and check enter address email address or phone number so we'll put that one there email address or phone number so email address or phone number this okay next we're going to put password field okay so i guess duplicate this line this way and then i'll change the type to what password password and then my text my placeholder is going to be password okay so i also put there password like this and i put password so next our button so come down and then we put button so you just put button open and we put button like this and then you close it and we're going to give our button a class so class name call login so this button is our login button like this and then we we'll enter our login text which is log in like this let's go ahead and check all right so log in now let's go to our development link and check and we have it there okay. after the login button we have forgotten password text a horizontal rule which is a line and then we have create new account button let's go ahead and create these three things and then we'll say bye-bye to the html part of the website 
so we'll go there and then we're going to enter p tag for paragraph and then i'll put for gotten password like this and then we'll create a horizontal rule which is hr for horizontal rule after that we we'll have another button so button and then i'm going to give it a class call create okay and then inside here we're going to give our button a name this is the visuals okay so create new account like this now let's go to our web browser and check and here we have it so guys we are done with the html part let's go to css and start styling our web page to look something like this all right let's start applying styling to our web page so i'll go to style.cs and first i need to target my body and then we are going to give our body a background color called alice blue okay alice blue because this background color is not white okay this is white but this is alice blue now let's go and check and you can see our background color now has changed to what alice blue let's continue so i'll simply come down like this and then we're going to target our main wrapper main wrapper like this and then we're going to display whatever content that is inside it as what flex okay flex now you can see our form has been pushed to the right right because of the display flex let's continue we come down and then we want to give or leave some space in between the display items okay the flex items so put justify content and then we're going to put space around okay space around you can see because of the space around there's space here there's space here and there's space here in my css videos i taught you um flex box okay so that's the knowledge we are now applying all right so we're done with the wrapper let's go ahead and work on the inner left okay so we have inner left now inner left contains text okay all right so with the inner left we're going to put some margin top okay so margin top margin top and then we'll put something like 27 pixels so that our logo will be pushed our logo and our text will be pushed down okay then you can see it has been pushed down a little bit okay so that's the uh main purpose of the what margin top all right but it's still on top so we need to get at um uh, at least more margin to it so that it will be pushed down to somewhere middle all right after that we're going to work on inner right okay so inner right like this but remember to bring your dot to make it a what a class like this 
then the and the inner right has background color let me show you right so we'll go back there this is inner right and it's a diff container it has background color of what white okay so we'll go back there and then we we'll put background color pure white okay so put white like that and as you can see there's white background color applied to our inner right but those two colors white and alice blue are almost similar because of that you are not seeing it but there's white here next up we're going to specify the height of this box and the width of this box okay so we'll go there and then simply come down and then i'll just put width of my box and then i'm going to give it 450 pixel as my width i'm also going to give it height like this and then 400 pixel height 400 pixel next up i'm going to push my box to the middle by putting what we call margin top so that our box will be pushed from i'm going to give it one third pixel as my margin top value i'm also going to give it a shadow so i'll just put box shadow and then box shadow i'm going to give it from top it's going to have zero pixel so zero pixel right is going to have one pixel and then we have button is going to have three pixel and then we have left is going to have one pixel and then finally don't forget to add your color of your border gray perfect so now let's go and check and as you can see our inner right has been pushed down and there's a shadow there see the shadow All right good so now we have to target our form and also push our form down a little bit because when you look at our demo the form is in the middle right so let's go ahead and do that to do that you go to your code editor and then we come down and we're going to target our form itself because this is an element selector in html we're targeting form and then we're going to give it margin all rounded so margin all rounded 100 pixels and then let me take you there and then we check and as you can see our form has been pushed down all rounded here is 100 pixel left 100 pixel right 100 pixel button 100 pixel okay so let's continue next up we're going to target our inputs fills those boxes inside the form so first i need to put form and then we're going to target our inputs okay so we'll put input and then we are going to give our inputs fills height and width so i'll put width like this and our width is going to take 100 percent pigs sorry 100 percent and then we have height and that one is going to take something like 40. So let's go there and check and as you can see this is how our form our fills look right now another important thing we need to put into consideration is our what button okay our two buttons log in and then create new account button when i take you to our demo and then you see a nice looking button here with another one beneath let's go ahead and see how we can create or can design our button just like this so to design your button go to your css file and target your button by its class 
okay and in our case we are using login okay this is the name of my class so i'll put login and then i'm going to target my login button with e login we are giving it width of width of 100 percent and then height of 40 pixels now and then we we'll give our button the text inside the button okay we we'll change the text color of the button so we we'll put color and then we're going to put white from there we're going to give our button a background color so we we'll give it background color and we're going to use this particular color 166 f e 5 all right and this is a color i want to use for my button and as you can see your button now looks good okay except there's a border surrounding our button so we need to do something so that the border will go away but before that we can also change the font width or yeah increase the font size of our text inside the button so we'll simply go back to our coding environment and then all we need to do is to come down like this and then we put font font size 25 pixel and we are going to remove our butter so we put butter and you put none okay let's put none like this and then we'll go back there and check and as you can see this is how our button looks right now okay next up let's go ahead and work on this particular text okay so work on this text which is the paragraph paragraph so all we need to do is to come down like this we can also target it here so i guess put it here and we put form like this and then we're going to target the p tag inside the form right which is a paragraph and then i'm going to give it text align center so text align center i'm also going to give it color so color is going to be this custom color now let's go and check and as you can see our text has also what changed in what color right so let's go ahead and work on the create button which is beneath here so i'll simply take you back to my coding environment and then i'll scroll down and we have login and we have create so I'll come down and put create so i just put create because this is the name of my class create and with this create i'm going to give it width okay so width and i also give it a height so for the width let's give it 70 percent like this and then height we are giving it 40 pixels. from there we will be giving it background color so it's going to be bg so that's background color we're going to use the rgb value in this part of the video okay so rgb and then open brackets right this is a special green it's like green but this is special it's just like a line okay then let's go ahead and then we'll remove the border so i'll put border because when i take you there there's going to be a border there you can see there's a border so we will remove that border border and we'll put none come down 
and then we'll give it margin left because we want it to be pushed from the left direction so margin left and then 40 pixels from there we're going to give it a border radius okay we want it to have a curvy look all right so border radius is going to be like five pixels like this let's go and check and as you can see this is how our button looks all right is that not great okay so we're going to change the color to white because here we have it white right so let's go and change the color to white so come here and then i'll put color and then i'll put white like that and let's go and check and now all right and now we have white color there so the final thing we'll be doing is to split this or give it um a line break so that they will not be on top of one another like this so we're going to give it uh now we, are, we, we have to go to hcml and then we're going to line break them so the first one we're going to talk about is this so here you put we put a brick like this and then we put another brick like this we come down to this part put another brick and then we put another brick like this let's check what is happening and you can see the space here the space here all right one final thing we'll be doing is to increase the font size of our inner left paragraph which is here to something like this all right so let's go ahead and increase our font size so i'll take you back to my coding environment and then we are going to css and then we'll be targeting inner left paragraph okay so you can come down here and then we target our what inner left and then we put p okay so any paragraph inside that container is going to take this effect which is font size as 30 pixels let's go and check come here and as you can see 30 pixels but the problem is you see there's a break here when you get to the share there's break so the words are uh, wrapping okay so we need to wrap it with the help of a br tab and that is all and we'll say bye bye to this video so I'll come to my HTML and then go to where there's share here and then I'll just put br tag there like this and that is all. all right and then I'll go there and guys we are done I hope this lecture has been informative if you are new to this YouTube channel consider subscribing because on this channel I show you how to build websites using content management systems or manually coded websites. My name is Solomon, hoping to see you in my next lecture. Take care.